If you all curious on why I'm doing another Lost Ones vid, it's because the last one I did was supposed to be in last month. I forgot I had to do that, and so I did it this month, and now you're getting two Lost Ones in a specific month. Why the heck did that sound so familiar when I was still doing this chase back last year? Wait, has it been last year? Jesus! Hey guys, Lost Production back on another video, and today it's the Lost Ones. Surprisingly, there's though two in the Pacific month. Anyways. And in today's case, we'll be taking a look at the Just Play Mickey, the true original Steamboat Willie plush animatronic. Well, anyways, either of those, review. Now, as if you were saying, what would be the best anniversary that there would ever be for a specific franchise? And who the hell was talking earlier? Then I'll make me say the fact that Sonic's 20th anniversary would be the best one. I mean, honestly, they could see that. I mean, there was Generations. Judge was absolutely pumping the living heck out of the mushrooms to make him sink in best quality of them all. Strange enough, they never really got around to Pacific Ones. Hmm. There's countless more anniversaries I could talk about. Sonic's 25th anniversary, which was mid. 30th anniversary? Yeah, that's pretty good. Not a big of it. I mean, yeah, that is uh, orchestrated. That got everybody's tears up to about a billion because nostalgia. I guess you could say the Halloween's 40th anniversary was a big thing since like that also was the release of Halloween 2018. Why not am I mentioning a horror movie and all I'm talking about a kid's toy? Oh yeah, I forgot about you. But surprisingly enough, I feel so one of the biggest anniversaries that I've seen during the course of my uh, 14 slash 15 years on this earth was Mickey's 90th birthday. Close to 100. Jesus Christ. This icon, right, has been here since 1928. And for saying that Simba really was the first original, I mean the first Mickey Mouse short, you're kinda wrong. I mean, we got Plain Crazy, which honestly half of the much nice for that was even a thing. And that thing really is back in May, so... Yeah, you kinda let it's been mixed up. But yeah, back in 2018, the same year I started my channel, surprisingly enough, automatically that Disney wanted to celebrate Mickey's 90th staying on the on Zeth, and so doing so, they decided to pump out a lot of merchandise for this anniversary. Honestly, I was kind of proud of that. If you go back to one of my older vids, and I'll make you see that there was a pack, I mean, a review on one of the Mickey stuff. Yeah, that was around this time. And certain of them, exactly the same place, and exactly the same color as it was all those years ago. Ain't that in coincidence? I think not! Without further ado, let's actually get into this Mickey, or Willy. And that kind of seems weird from the name himself, Willy, but... Uh, Matt, screw it, let's just look at it. Get your asses over here! Before we go into you first, like, we gotta take a look at the box, because as far as though, it came with it. You have a bit of weird history with this thing. Not going to history just yet, but first, again, the box. I do like what they did. I do. The yellowing of all Mickey's designs in the course of his time. Hey, you see right there? There's plain crazy, so I told you for a fact that that is the first one and not Sink and Steamboat Willie. What the hell even is it? Uh, oh, he's right here. Take hold of you. Strange enough, man's me looking kind of weird without his sinking gloves or shoes. And had a split in between his eyes. And the red for the shorts actually kind of has a glimmer look. I honestly do like that, and I kind of wish that they went with a yellow approach. But then again, that's because this thing would have been gleaming. Strange enough, this thing was only a Target exclusive, and sadly you can't find these things anymore, which is why it's on the lost ones. On the back, there's a description if you want to think and pause it right here. The first cotton release kind of was. Well, yeah, so it was the first big one. It all like it was the first cartoon with the actual sound in it. So, I, I don't know, man. Either for the fact that thinking people will get this thing confused for the fact that it's even, uh, the Steamboat Belly was the first one. Or I just say that Plain Crazy was the beta test. You know, it was like a pilot. And there was like another one who had this exact same Mickey design as well. So, I mean, I guess that also makes it clear that Sink and Steamboat Willie. I mean, anyway, Steamboat Willie was the third one. It wasn't the second. It wasn't the first. Nah, this thing right here was changed sound for cartoons as a whole. Was the first, was the third Mickey Mouse short. Not anything else. So, for those who are saying that it was the first, you're wrong. 
Advertisement is a lie at the time. I mean, looking at food, I mean, that makes sense. On the bottom, it shows them what the heck the battery compartment is, and for legal reasons, I really don't want to get to it. Also, this box is surprising enough, though, I'm still the test of time. I got this thing, like, when it was in condition. Not in the exact same year it was released, but kind of recent. It's actually a Christmas present. And I had to take it out because, well, of course I had to do a video on them, but... It kind of broke the box. Sorta. But further ado, let's actually get into the mouse himself. Let to say about him, surprisingly enough. He's kind of dusty. There we go. I'm actually sitting down so you can actually see a better view of him, though. One thing I actually do like about this plush, I, I don't know if I should call him still a plush animatronic or just plush all around. But one of the things, the little detail I noticed when Namaki, when Vid started to pop up with him, or even, hell, even back in the day, was his shorts. Also being said, Ricky, oh, no, that was why his beta name. <laughs> Mickey's shorts now are red, but back in the day since it was black and right, it was, you know, white. But on Maggie for shots like Get a Horse, it was still black and, it was just still white. And actually did have red in it. Even though Mickey back in those times when he was watched by Walt himself, he didn't even see red, so they had to combine, you know, I, E, D. But I do like that they actually made the colors unique instead of just using just white, you know, fabric because here's the face and here's the shorts as like a grayish tint and honestly i do like it because in fact that mickey shorts probably would have been like that if it was recolored but honestly that is i was kind of tested by just thinking i don't know he got the little hat got his little cog wheel watch his wheel he got his little tail he's got buttons in the back which is a neat reference to the fact that sometimes the shorts did have that but I don't know what I should do about this. Should I keep it or should I not? <laughs> Every single <laughs> time. <laughs> <thing. laughs> now this thing's watch it. There we go. I think I might take a bit of felt of them. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'll keep these and everything around because why well, not? But now he's actually free. He looks a little better now. The real gimmick comes into play once we realization that this guy is a plush. I mean, he's a little bit of a robot. It's just a steamer wheeler. I mean, I don't know what to say of this thing. I'll probably call it plush animatronic. Then people would think, Holy shit, it's all my clear animatronic. That's a plush, but it's a plush robbery. Holy shit. Nah, they can't even be true. He did have, <laughs> did have a few hangings for his support on this box. I didn't put batteries in them just yet because uh, I'm a dumbass. Let me do that. Okay, so now after all of that, I actually put the batteries in him. He does look a bit short for some reason. He comes a real kick out here. You see here, when you're like again him from back in the day, he was in charming mode. You put his, push his little hand, then here's what happens. I might get copyrighted, but if that's the case, it's going to be worth it. It plays the original Steamboat Willie really little tune, and actually, he moves with it. I do like that. It's kind of cute. I ain't gonna lie. He's taking little as Mac said. I do like it. But one of the things I don't know why is why the hell are the toys on Mac just have some bopping tunes? Bulls, I had it, and now Mickey has it, brother. But here's the real kick about it is that I didn't even know that this guy even had it. Is that if you go in the back here, and also let me just turn that one around so the baby gets shut up. Alright, so back to this. You open up himself right here, which is a Velcro. I think I just put this the wrong way. Now let me just put the camera down just a bit. There we go, he's out. Here's the battery compartment. He takes three AA batteries. Here there's the try me feature. Get this the zoom. Try me feature which is on, the off button which is when just shut up. And apparently that's an on feature. I never actually tested this out and first time actually seeing it. Well, not first time. I've seen it a few times, but first time actually using it. So here it goes. And then you can promote on the packaging. Bruh. I don't know what just happened. I think I just spawned an actual demon now. Okay, so let's see. On. What does he do? Let me see.
Round of applause, people. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up on the people. Yeah. 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 I don't know why, that just gave me a very nostalgic feel to one of those Mickey toys back in the day. It wasn't on this one, but it was like that one, one where he had like a cap. He had like this like get up attire that looked like it was thinking like Eminem would kind of wear. Or like that one weird show, apparently. I don't know what it was called. Like a new fact, I had this one scene in which just some kid comes out. I mean, he appears with some like nice boy attire. And then the next scene just comes out like a freaking gangster. I don't remember what name it was, but he wore like that, and he was also like type of like an animatronic like this. And also, Mickey, what are you looking at? That Supersonic? Oh, I think he's cool as well. But it's the same year as you as well. <laughs> and yeah, he did like some sick flips. I know it was on like the animatronic and all that. He did like, he was doing flips on it, like, do a flip! You know, like that type of flip. <laughs> now, he really cut on those. In fact, he was still a flush, and he had mechanics in him. But yeah, I think I still have it. I don't think he still works anymore. I might do him for the next one. But yeah, that whole entire thinking noise like that. I never heard that before. It's kind of crazy that I actually never heard that at all. But yeah, that was the, actually the original. That was the extended scene. That was like the scene where it just opens up with the bow and everything. God, I better do a mashup on this. What, what, how do I find, what, how do I make this mechanics don't work so I can actually get the sound, because it just happens every single time, bro, like, these toys have no business on having, like, some really good things, because they just don't look right. <laughs> now, you may say to yourself, this is the end of the video, right? Sort of. Well done, every single feature that this Mickey has, or Nemo Really Plush has, there is one thing that I do wish that they could do. Here's what I think honestly would work. Since this guy was only released as for the 90th years of magic, or just 90 years of magic, as it says. I keep on spelling it wrong. It's 90 years of magic. It says on the box over there. I would honestly think that, I don't know, again, this is, this is my opinion, but if Disney ever does this, I think they would make a series or a wave, or whatever the heck. They just title it, I don't know what to title it, I think if they title it, They'll just call it a random ass name, but one thing I know for fact that they probably would do is again, this is up to speculation, but you would have sets of toys and they would re release old ones like these. And so, for instance, if you didn't get yourself this plush or plush animatronic from back when he first released, don't worry, you could get yourself the exact same doll or this, but in a different packaging because. The thing I wanted to do, or at least wanted Disney to do, was to redo the packaging. Instead of just having this 90 years of magic, just have it exactly the same scene, or at least like a diorama set of the boat from the shot itself. But not that many, it would just have like the black and white, have the sinking wood planks, the sign rods, it have everything on there. And on the back, it would probably have, thinking a description, it'll probably have it for all the others. I have a description reading that this is a re-release of a old toy and due to probably the man we are reassembling it once again with a new fresh coat of paint. I know I wouldn't say that. And I just have the Mickey from there on one of these sides and then just have a click them all. I might guess would be that they probably release some other toys. Like I honestly think they would probably re-release that one Woody and Buzz from Toy Story 4 where they just it's like that interactive one. It's not like Toy Story Collection, but it's like the one where... It's just the one where Woody just randomly just stands up. And apparently that they can also just be like a toy. You know, how they do is thing and that they just drop flat like their dead body. Yeah, like that. They'll probably release both of those, which honestly... Like, it seems kind of weird, because I like that those two characters are from Pixar, and this guy's from Disney. But then again, Disney does have the rights for Pixar, and they're kind of making them a bit weird, the fact they got in light and tiny and red. I think that's the movie. I don't know. I honestly think that they probably do that. And that, due to the fact they probably... I was thinking maybe they could actually do others. Like, Cars 3, Coco. 
I was thinking maybe ones in were like to like the late two thousand and tens. But ones like those, I think that they could work. Like no cap, I think. Honestly, someone actually took me up that actual image, took an actual image of what that might look like. I'm actually gonna give you like a. I don't know if this could be working. The fact this box is still broken, but to give you more or less an example, what? Shit. I'm probably gonna do a community post or something about the specific angles to at least give you guys an idea. Just to show you guys on what I'm working with here. He would be exactly the same. We probably have just like nothing added to him, but just for the good shits and giggles, I just wanted to be like that, okay? I know that Disney probably won't do that because they got lazy more things on the mind other than just pre releasing some whack ass toys. But honestly, like this one's pretty good. Like, no, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just realized on what his on feature does, and my god, this makes it from good to actually pretty great. It's just a shame that I think that they automatically have to be done with thinking some like toys like these. Because imagine if they actually release these on YouTube. God, how many matches would there be? There'd be the original classic, this thing, and I guess you want to count as well with F with F and F, unhappy, and wish wishfulness or whatever it's called. I know it has something with a W in it. So in total, there'll be like four whole and total masha. There'll be four whole entire songs with the exact same thing with Snoopy really in it. Thing is, unhappy Almaki has a masha, but then Almaki has it with making us clubhouse in it. So why well, just add that to the bar because why not? But yeah, uh, I think I actually might do a separate video or just a, a separate video as a whole time. I could just have both this and that over there. Just the song separated because I honestly think that people would be dying for them to make a clear version. But yeah, I guess that's really it for Mickey Mouse as a whole. I do remember that they did release another. I do not know which one they did. I know they released this guy, but I think they also released Sorcerer Apprentice, maybe if I'm not too sure. I don't know. I remember seeing him, but I don't think I've seen anybody else. Which is kind of weird. And for those that seen if I'm ever going to do a Lost Ones on the 10-pack figure, I probably will do that. Like, probably around the same time when I actually get it in September. Or oh, August, not too sure. So, if you guys think of the video, like, share, comment, and notifications. Ah, oh, goddammit, I forgot one else on my thing. <laughs> the question that people has on the minds on where could you run this guy? A few options. Strangely enough that this guy was only ever exclusive to Target. No one else, surprisingly enough. Strange, because like that, I do remember getting another Mickey 90 years thing in a Walmart. It was like these little metallic figures. They were like down at like this t tall, I think, most. But strange that they only released them in the. You know, if I can also think about it, I think in Target had all of the Mickey merchandise there ever. Ever, I recall. Because they had like the. They had the 10 pack of cars, they had like the little capsules. But it also had like this big plush shit. Of all the Mickey dolls. I mean, all the Mickey brands. That included Plain Crazy, this one. The Thaddeus, I mean, I'm thinking the Color Eyes, aka they call it Pie Face. And they had the one during the late Thaddeus, I believe. I think they had the comic version, that's what I call. They had the semi current. Not really current, though, but like almost there. I mean, they had the Source of Apprentice, they had, they had the 50s design. They had Clubhouse. They have the Mickey Mouse shorts from YouTube. I call them and friends. I was thinking 2013 because the fact that they don't really have a name for them. And uh, yeah, that's it. And maybe they do have. No, oh, that 50s Mickey design was also not Mickey, the one with the marching band Mickey. So I guess that counts as well. And that's. And I also think they just added a, a current Mickey because why not? I mean, you already got included in that because why not? But yeah, I mean, yeah, the you couldn't find him, I think, after 2018. I think he was around for a bit 2019. But after that, you're like, you couldn't find him at all. And ever since then, uh, you have to go on eBay and actually try to find him. He's not actually that bad of a price. Like, 30 bucks, I think. No, I think I pay like. No, this was a Christmas gift, so I really can't remember the pricing. But from what I can remember, going through before Christmas, it was. I think $10 if. It's just broken. Like, it's just good all around, but if it doesn't work, yeah, it's kind of broken. Yeah, like, it's $10. I 
I think tops, I think, are like 60. Not bad of a price, because I remember this guy, I think, was like 20. And I think that might be a different offer back in those times. But yeah, back to my son, actually, how I didn't get this guy, and actually how I finally got him. It's gonna be pretty long. Oh, I remember back when I was good old 11 years old. Around the same age, I think, in some effing modest can answer. But it seems a bit too dark. Cut that out. I don't guess you can hear that. There's a wrecking noise in the bathroom. Is someone on over? Is. Uh, ah! Get it. Is someone on over and bear? Get your ass out of there. I'm trying, I'm trying to record right here. <laughs> okay, so back to story time. I vividly remember seeing this guy a lot during my targets. I had the chance to get him. I just didn't want to at first because. A, it would probably stink and do something to me, and B, probably because I was probably a little dumbass back then. I was 11 years old. I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to do it just because I wanted the money. I didn't realize that I had to do it until, like, a few years later. I still don't get money off of YouTube. That, and probably don't even have my car in front of so then, and that, I don't even monetize my vids. Makes sense. And then about three years after the, after the doll actually came out, and after about three years of me being... On YouTube, and after that, I'll make it just join giving himself just 3 slash 4, I think, 2 slash 3 slash 4k. Surprising not 5k, yeah. Honestly, I should have been there by now. And I finally actually got him. And now he just sometimes sits right there. Because I really know spot on where to put Oh, yeah, also those guys over there, uh, yeah, they're kind of different. Am I going to. Honestly, like, I want to do a vid on those guys, the blue and Jim Jing and Jay. Those ones I really want to do. I think in probably March we'll have a vid on those guys. Because I've never seen the video on those guys. And I feel as though I'm like the only one that actually does have them. Hey, yo, Magnus, if you actually want to contact me, I have no contacts. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably get this card wearing it. I won't have a this one because I don't want it to be my demise in my channel as a whole. I'm not that there yet. Wait, there yet? What the hell am I on about? I'm freaking 14, I bought it down to 15 in a second, and oh man, not second, I'm still gonna be in April. Weird. Oh my god, you thinking, oh my god, you having plans on how my channel's gonna be dead. I don't know where things to think about. I'm thinking of my early ass career. <laughs> yeah, let's move on now. So, you guys think the video? Like, should come, and forget just on the more preview, then scroll down and see if I'm on that, click on it, put on a plus enough, not. It's been around three years until I get getting this guy finally because oh damn that's what I felt like. That in part because he had some stable ass batteries in and I thought he actually still died and for the first time he actually made like squeaky noises. Screw it, I'm just gonna play the clip that I actually had him sound in there so I'll make it what it sounds like. I ain't gonna do it again because I don't have the batteries of it. Yeah. Next vid will obviously be an definite matchup. I'm actually gonna go back to what I did beforehand, doing two definite matchups a month. I feel as though that's, like, a better thing to do instead of just doing them, like, every single one, because, you know, that's, like, burnt out, you know? Because I also do, I do like, other the I also do, like, other things I do on my channel, which honestly people do like most, because, like, you guys like that the most. I just said like, two whole times. Anyways, though, uh, uh, see you guys in the next vid.